If it was Steve, that would have been an answer. And Steve would have also laughed at the nuts thing. Steve would have probably given one of those looks to the camera where he's like, Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Family Feud. This is what? This is my third appearance on the show, I think. So let's hop right on in. We got the Stevenson family. We're getting ready. We're out for blood. We're picking medium. Let's do this shit. It's the middle of the week. And it's time for It's the middle of the week and it's time for Family Feud! I I'm going in alone, yeah, I know I'm a lone wolf. Alright, I don't need no help. Actually, I need a lot of help. A any help you could get like I know this is a recording. You're watching this after the fact, but if you guys could like invent a time machine, come back and help me. I'd be very appreciative. Help me win that car. Fasten ourselves in for some feud. Round one. But if you hear any like squeaks, that's my chair. I noticed it when I was editing before. I was like, what the fuck is that? It's my chair. It needs to be like oiled or some shit. Be sure to buzz in when you've got an answer to the no. question. Don't tell me how to live my life. First, name something people like to do in their back garden. You got in first. Garden. Said with confidence. I'm gardening. Let's, see. Let's go, number two, baby. Hey. Here we go then. Fuck, people do like the paint. Anyone in the oh, shit. This? Yes! No Let's go! Uh, I would like to play. Okay, I move myself down here. I don't know, what, what's, where's a good spot where I won't be in the way? That blocks the time. I don't think this blocks anything. This just blocks the uh, subtitles a little bit. Okay, let's see. So, gardening. Wait, beekeeping. Oops. For an answer. Uh, yeah, I, had, I thought he said scratch your mind. I was like, how the fuck? Okay, let's see. We... While my guitar gently weeps. I don't think that's something you do in your backyard. Unless you're a famous musician, then maybe you have, hold like private concerts for the neighbors. Bullshit! Ow! I fucking hit the desk. We're going care, because I don't fucking know. Let the other family get it and fuck it up, and then I still get the 20 points anyway. Damn it. Three strikes, but I mean, like, I already knew that. Yeah, we might need to back down to easy next next time we do this. Who the fuck? Oh, shit. People do do yoga in their back gardens. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah. Uh, well, swim. Ah, oh, fuck yeah, cause like the pool. Play games. Play games. Who the fuck? Sunbathe. Okay. Barbecue. Okay. Bar barbecue's a good one. I feel dumb. I feel dumb that I didn't think of barbecue. I was trying to find a spot. For the camera, but uh, I think we're just we're just gonna do it here, cause it, it caught off the P and play games. But I mean, yeah, still zero points. Fucking pussies, get it? Cause like they they like cats. Can I have someone from each family no. join me, please? No, I'm actually I'm gonna uh, stay my ass over here. Ah, oh, no, he's going up anyway. Top four answers. Come on, give me something good here, Lucky. Steve would give me something good. Name an imaginary character who visits kids in their sleep. Think you got something? Well, number one's obviously the Tooth Fairy. And there's also Santa Claus, but I don't think he actually... He doesn't actually visit the kid. He just visits downstairs. He breaks and enters into the house and leaves shit under the tree. Also, Santa's not imaginary, so... Yeah, he's not imaginary, but I'm still putting it. Santa. Because I feel like even though he's real... He's probably number two. Okay, he's number four. What the fuck is this bullshit? What the fuck? He was like, oh, yeah. Fucking Easter Bunny, yo. It was also completely real. What the fuck? Ooh, 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 ooh. I got it. I got it. I'm not saying it, but I got it. Oh, fuck. There's two boogeymans. How do I spell? I'm, I'm spelling it with the EY because it's how I've seen it like written before. Damn right, Boogeyman. What the fuck? Okay, let's see. So the Easter Bunny was not one of them. The Boogeyman was one of them. 
What's another person that invades children's homes while they sleep and visit them? Ah, uh, shit. I, I'm, I'm putting monsters. I feel like that's covered by the boogeyman, but I'm still putting monsters. Fuzzy wanted to come up here and tell me I'm a fucking idiot for that one. Am I an idiot? Okay, what's an imaginary character who visits kids in their sleep? Come on. Time machine. Right now, I need answers. Anybody that's watching this in like 3020 when time machines have invented... Yo, come back here and help me. 2022. Alright, I'm putting Satan. Satan's also not imaginary. But... Got it. I, I panicked. I panicked and I put Satan. That's three strikes. Ah, here they go with the... Here, Buzz, can you do the X? Can you do the X? Doing the X, telling them they're gonna steal my shit? This is some bullshit. Alrighty then. Show me that answer. If that's number two, I'm gonna be Ready, a little crew. pissed. Yes! No that was a good one, though, Buzzy. That was a good one. I was kind of scared because that was a good one. There's only one answer left to show. But I'm in the lead. Got 91 points. Come on, yeah. What was number two? Come on. My brain is racked. Sandman. The Sandman. It's time. Are we ready for another face-off, Buzz? He's shaking his head. Yes. Oh, now he's bumping to the music. Do -do -do. Okay, he wants to get down. I'm gonna let him down. Tomatoes. God, like, isn't that the whole thing? It's like if a tomato is raw, it's a fruit. But then if a tomato is like cooked, it's a vegetable because it like loses its seeds or some shit. I actually don't like cooked tomatoes. I love raw. To like, you put that shit on like a sandwich. Bull fucking shit. You put that shit on like a sandwich. Delicious. But you cook it, you put it in like a soup or a stew or whatever. Not for me, fam. Yep. Could it be up there? Let's find out. <laughs> That's too nuts. perfect. No. What raw nuts. It is not raw. Name I'll stop. I'm not trying to get wrong. banned. All right, we got this. Onions. I thought I fucking put onion rings for a second. I would have been pissed. Vegetable. Okay. So, I'm at 96 points now. I'm, I'm gonna fucking play. What the fuck is this bullshit? When have I ever not played? When have I ever said, you know what? I worked hard to get this top answer. Well, it's not a top answer. It's a second top answer. I worked hard to get this number two answer. I'm gonna let them play. What's some other shit that's good raw? Not tomatoes. <laughs> it's not nuts. Fruits, maybe. I don't know. I'm putting it. Fruit. Okay, we gotta figure this shit out. It's not fruit. It's not tomatoes. Not nuts. But it, vegetables is up there, and that covers a whole broad range. Noodles. Noodles. Because, you know, sometimes, like, you get... Oh, shit. Maybe spaghetti? You know, sometimes, like, you get... Like, the, when you make it spaghetti, you take, like, a like a raw piece, right and you just answer? eat it, because that's just kind of good. Fuck? Uh -oh. You love... If it was Steve, that would have been an answer. And Steve would have also laughed at the nuts thing. Steve would have probably given one of those looks to the camera where he's like... Who the fuck said that's a good answer? I am blanking. I am blanking and I put eggs just because I know that, that is something that you can't eat raw. And then some asshole in the fucking back goes, that's a good answer. Like my friend Al Capone used to say, our other family has a chance to steal. This man thought he did something right there. So, like, so he's friends with Al Capone. He was in on some of Al Capone's bad deeds, and yet he still was able to host a TV show. No, this is slander on the rare and medium rare community. Rare steak is not raw. Rare is rare. This game it just offended me. Seafood. I like raw seafood could give you salmonella. Fuck off, Coopers. Now they're in the lead by five points because of this double points bullshit. But it's all right. Triple points, that's my round. That's my round, baby. Painful as it sounds, it's the face off. Okay. Uh, all right, I got to pull through and win this. I'm actually in danger of losing. I'm behind by five. Oh, the pressure's on. Name something that could spring a leak. Faucet. 
And I got more too, so I'm feeling good about this That's one. Damn right. I'm gonna play. You're not even getting a chance. I got the fucking top answer. Actually, I got three more. I just lied. I got three more. Because one just came to me while I was putting that one in. Do you have an answer for us? Yes, I do. I have multiple. Next up, we got pipe. Because obviously, you know, pipe, you know, water goes through that shit. That, that's my sound effect for it leaking. It's a all on the fucking ground. This one might be a bit of a surprise, but like, yo, you guys know when you have like that air conditioner that goes directly in the window, that shit leaks all the fucking time. And it's always like dripping on the floor. Bull shit. That's why I gotta keep a fucking towel under my air conditioner in the summer. Okay, what else could spring a leak? I'm going shower. Fuck, you better not snake this shit from me, Coopers. Why is my hair doing that? Alright, let's try it. That's no Yes! Come here, Buzz! I need to hug you! Well, let's see what these other answers were. Boat. Okay, alright, alright. A leaky boat would be a very bad thing. What is this, 1985? Hose. Hose, okay, you got me there. Okay, we're doing another round. Alright, what is this? Oh, is this? Sudden death. Ray, we're asking for the top answer only. Points are tripled. Whoever gets this answer wins the round. Scared. Conducted a survey of 100 people for this question. Scared. Name I a type lose. of pain in your life. Fast buzzing. You oh shit! I'm going headache. I didn't see all of it, but fuck it. I'm going headache. Let's see if you're right. What? Buzz, do you believe that? That was a complete- I almost said heart attack! Buzz, we're going in- We're going in a fast money round! Go oh, yeah! You're gonna answer five questions. Which of the seven dwarves can you relate to most? Sleepy. Which one of Sleepy. the seven dwarves Hunter. describes you in the morning? Isn't there- isn't there's one named Grumpy, right? Name yeah. something you shake the sand out of after a day at the beach. Shoots. Thing people I'm like, dude, I got like answers, second answers for all these. Name something adults take into the bathtub with them. Uh, oh, I almost put rubber ducky, but like, adults don't have rubber duckies. No? Bring anything into the fucking, I mean, I don't even get in the bath. We're all questioned out. I take showers, and I bring nothing in the shower with me. Okay. Not even my clothes. Again. That's right. I shower naked. Okay, Buzz, you're gonna help me, right? The clock starts now. <laughs> he gave me the side eye, like, what are you talking to me? Seven dwarves can you relate to most? Which one of I'm gonna put Dopey again, because I feel like Dopey works in both scenarios. After a day at the beach. Shorts. Handle with care. I'm going poetic with this one. I'm putting hearts. Names oh, fuck! <laughs> I pressed the wrong shit! <laughs> Yo, it's screw it. I'm putting rubber ducky in it. If that That's screws me out of the 200, I'm gonna be pissed because I was okay, going to put no heart. Okay, let's okay, come on, Buzzy. See how we did. Those answers look good. Don't they they better be. Not bad. That's some solid answers there. Grumpy. Grump. That was top. I think we've got a couple of good answers. Damn there. right. We better have the top answer here. Yay. Points all around for these two. Wondering about that top answer? Yes, I would have thought it was Grumpy. Sleepy. All right. For the third question, we asked. Fuck. Name some so I had the right answers. They were just in the wrong order. Did anyone say those? Just one of those answers scored some points. 
still in good top answer was still in like good standing towel what the fuck if he says hearts number one i'm gonna be pissed did either of these get any big points on the upside one of those answers was good the top answer babies babies Name some babies take into the bathtub with them. You are a baby. You're a big baby. To this one, but I love you. Final survey said. Okay, we got phone, we got rubber duck. Ouch. That is well, we didn't get to 200. But we did win sudden death. I feel accomplished about that. Stevenson wins! Starring Stevenson. Wanna give it another go? Esteban! Starring! Cooper, Tony, Dan, Lisa, Charlie, and Jessica. So Dead Mouse's name in this game is Tony Cooper. Hosted by Steve Harvey. So that's gonna be the end of the video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you like this little guy right here. Cause he he pretty much hung out with me for most of the video. Ain't that right, buddy? Uh, next week, we have some Sims action coming your way. And yeah, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next week. Peace. Say bye, buddy. Say bye. Bye, everybody. See you next week.